Hey what's up guys, it's Eugene Pentland from Pentland Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit my model of my coin sorter. So I had uploaded my model of my coin sorter the other day and a lot of people from different countries have been asking me for variations of their currency and while I could go and make every single currency I figured I would make a tutorial of how to edit my new parametric model so that you could use it for any type of currency that you have. Let's jump right into Fusion 360. So when you go to my Thingiverse page, there's going to be a few different versions that you could download and edit. Uh, they're separated by the amount of coins that each store is. As of right now, I only have variations of 8 and 6, but I'll be adding uh, 4, 5, and maybe 7 um, in the future. So the first thing you want to do is decide what coins that you want. Um, it was most popular for the Euro coins. One thing you're going to have to make sure of is that that the coins that you're choosing have a millimeter or more in diameter difference otherwise the mechanism will not work so here you would just barely probably be able to get away with using the two cent and the ten cent euro coin so as requested by Jockum on Thingiverse I'm going to be making a five, ten, twenty, fifty cent, one euro and two euro variation right now so what you want to do is open up the six coin variation of it and then you're going to hit this right here which is to edit the user parameters so there's coins one through eight but since this is only the six coin version you'll need to do the first six so what you're going to want to do is enter in the diameters of the coins from the largest diameter as coin one and the smallest diameter as coin six and then you just fill all of these in. Alright, now that you got all those entered in, the next thing you want to do is here where it says smallest coin, just copy what coin 6 says and set that to 19.75. Things that you could change is the hole tolerance, so that the sleeve has a little bit higher tolerance. This is what I, I had had it set for 0.75 in my original model, and that worked pretty well and consistently. The thickness of the sleeves. So, so right now these sleeves are one millimeter thick. You could change that value to make them thicker or thinner to your liking. Base height, make the entire thing taller so you could store more coins in it. Um, distance from center. So this is to make it so like see right here it's extremely thin so what I'm going to want to do is change this. I'll try changing it to 32.5 and that just makes it a little bit thicker all the way throughout so you want to make a nice balance between having it thin enough that it's not using too much material but thick enough is not going to break. Um, okay so sleeves you could either set this to zero or one if it's set to zero then it's designed so that it doesn't use the sleeves at all that instead the coins just fall down and stay in the plastic base instead of having to print these little sleeves every single time. Um, I recommend this if you don't have that many coins in general and if you just plan on picking out some coins every once in a while when you get, want to get yourself a cup of coffee. Uh, Alright, the thickest coin. So you're going to want to look at the dimensions of all the coins. See which one is the thickest. The Euro coin, it seems that 2.38 millimeters is the thickest coin. 2.38 and that is just about all the parameters. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back to the end. And everything should be good to go now. So some other things that I added that weren't in the previous version are that now, you, as you can see, this is geared and there's this little thing that you could spin which would make it so you could there's this little thing you could spin so you could do a much more fluid motion. Um, the hopper is made a little bit taller and a little bit wider so you could do more coins at the same time. And also see like right here, 
you may have to change under the spinner go to the pattern this first pattern and you could change the number of slots there are let's try changing it down to five all right and that looks a lot better one little note I have not tested the gears yet so I'm not quite sure if this mechanism works for every single size I, I have not printed it yet so if you do not want to have the gears because it may or may not work you can just roll the history marker to uh, let's see right about here roll the history marker here and then that just leaves it as a much more basic form and it doesn't have all the gears on the side so you know you could just do it by hand and it'll work all the time all right and that's just about it all right thanks for watching guys if there's any other features in this model that you would like to see added or if you have any suggestions for future videos please let me know in the comments below